blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie affair. Sing it with me, folks. The last one to know, the last one to show. I was the last one you thought you'd see there. We all have friends in low places. The whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. Now go and deja tu huella. It's a Cheetos thing. It's a Cheetos thing. And I know if, if, let's say I had that power, you know, I could just walk down the street and make everything beautiful by touching it. Um, you know, when we go out and pick up trash, what if we were imagining ourselves picking up trash and just whew, painting everything beautiful? Like, how awesome to have that power to just touch somebody and whew, they have on nice clothes and their drum set's nicer and their car is nicer. Like, I would love to have that kind of a power but I do. I can actually make people's lives better. Leave nothing untouched by the love of God, right? I can share his love just by my aura, the way I walk into a space. And in case we have any new people online, uh, I realize that I never introduce myself. I just assume everybody knows who I am, but I am Pastor Ann of Cornerstone Community Church of Lemon Grove. And we are meeting in our home while we're waiting for a facility to open up. And so welcome to our house, welcome to our home. Wherever we're being sent, we're being sent to do what we've been talking about all year, and that is to bless people. Begin with prayer, listen well, eat together, serve with love, and share your story. We're gonna take that blessing, imagine, run your hands down the brick wall and have that mural pop up, and that mural is God's love. That's what we wanna do, it's called the Great Commission. All authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. And many theologians think a better translation is as you're going. As you're going, make disciples. So as you're going to work, as you're going to drive, as you're going to shop, as you're going outside just to talk to your neighbor, making disciples. How? By sharing the love of God and the message of the gospel. So as we're going... We want to bless our neighbors. That's our vision. Ariana is going to come up and she's going to pray over our offering and over our vision. Come on up, Ariana. Your word says that in the last days, your people would dream dreams and see visions. We would be people who have a picture of the future. And I just pray that our picture of the future would not be limited to our own hopes and ideas and agendas and desires, but that they would be ultimately coming from you. So birth your vision in our hearts for your people. Help us to be passionate about the vision you give us. Help us to be willing to pay the price of the vision and do what you're calling us to do and be sent off into our neighborhoods, to our next door neighbor maybe. We don't know what that looks like, but God, we just pray that you would birth that vision inside of us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Ariana. Surely nations were not made for war. The broken men to be ignored. Surely this just can't be what you saw. Let your kingdom come.
and I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm not big on social graces. I think I'll slip on down to the oasis. Oh, I've got friends in low places. I get the sense that Garth is singing about attending his ex-girlfriend's or ex-wife's wedding. <laughs> Probably during the dancing part, during the reception, during the feast. There's a lot of imagery and parables in the Bible in regard to wedding celebrations, banquets, feasts, meals. But who gets invited? to these special occasions. And what do the people do when they get there? And as we start the beginning of the chapter, we can see Jesus is already in trouble. When Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, now we know Jesus, one of the knocks against him by the Pharisees is that he eats with publicans, tax collectors, sinners. They called him a, a glutton and a wine bibber. In other words, you're a pig and you drink too much. <laughs> he heals people on the Sabbath. He eats with people who you wouldn't have over to your house if it was the last thing you did on your dying day. And remember, Jesus is being watched. But guess who else is doing the watching? Jesus. When he noticed how the guests picked the places of honor at the table, he told them this parable. Now, if you sit close to the host and then the host comes over and says, <laughs> back row, chump, that is embarrassing. But when you are invited, take the lowest place so that when your host comes, he will say to you, friend, move up to a better place. Then Jesus said to his host, <laughs> to the Pharisee, when you give a luncheon or a dinner, wait a second, he is giving a luncheon or a dinner. <laughs> Do not invite your friends, your brothers or sisters, your relatives or your rich neighbors. Who do you think the Pharisee invited to this banquet, this luncheon, this dinner after the synagogue? Uh, I am sure that room was full of these four categories of people. But when you give a banquet, invite there's another four categories of people that he says to invite. When you give a banquet, invite those from the lowly places and you will be blessed. In other words, you, you've done something for somebody that they can't do for themselves and you're doing it without expecting anything in return. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. It's not a new pecking order, not a new record keeping or bookkeeping scheme. That, if you will, is why Jesus tells his host to invite people who can't invite him back and to get him to stop doing everything in his life on the basis of debit and credit and to open his eyes to the way that God does business. So the host sends the servant down to 17th and Imperial. They go to the emergency rooms, the psych wards, the low-income parts of towns, the alleys for the dumpster, di dumpster divers, the gutters, the streets full of those just trying to get by and live an honest, decent, regular life. This and the above parable are partly about being compassionate, but it's also a lot to do this thread of who you invite and who will do the most for you and why you do what you do. May we take the lowly places. May we sit with lowly people in their lonely spaces. May we invite them to the banquet, getting a taste of the Lord's wedding feast, sharing with them God's goodness and grace. May we exalt others and not ourselves. And let's look forward to the full house of the Lord. We thank you, Father, Son, and Spirit, for the banquet that you have prepared for us. May we accept the invitation in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to go back and re-listen or you haven't heard a church service or a Wednesday night, you can actually go online in two ways. CornerstoneCommunityOnline.org Okay, that kind of works. Now, you need to sign in. No, you don't have to sign in, but we need to start signing into the YouTube channel. We need more subscribers.